What's up, everybody? This is the Toasty Podcast, the toastiest one yet. I'm here with my co-host, Matty B. What's up? We're about to get down with the case against the McCloskeys going on right now in Missouri. So let's get freaking toasty. So I'll just introduce this whole thing. So a few weeks ago, protesters in St. Louis, Missouri, were doing their doing their thing and decided it'd be a good idea to keep moving down a private street because why not? Next thing you know, the owners of the private street and the front yard the protesters were standing in come out with freaking guns waving, telling them, get the heck off my lawn. Yeah, like Clint Eastwood style. Whenever you are an old guy and Ex- you want to be that guy. Except they didn't use like racial epithets at the time. Correct. They didn't do that. They're in their sixties. <laughs> They're both lawyers. Um, but what the hell is going on, Matt? Man, that's a that's a good question. I feel like the the use of our justice system for political reasons is becoming too common. Politics ruin everything. They do. They do. Yeah, they do. <laughs> but they're also like a necessary part of progression, you know. We're always going to have politics, yeah. whether it's in the workplace or whether it's national politics in government. You know, so do you know it's part of life. the prosecutor, right, that says we're charging them? Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess her name is Kim Gardner. Kim Gardner. Mm-hmm. Is she like, what's her story? You know, she, what? she's a Democrat and she's up for reelection, I think, in 2020. So that's coming up this this year. It's mm-hmm. happening. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I think could be i haven't double checked on well that, i think i heard the same thing but i, so. I heard i heard she's up for re-election soon so i would assume it's in november um about 100 days from now so this just goes to show, i mean this is something maybe good for her i don't know i'm not sure i uh, think she, i think she 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 saw this she saw the fact that it was kind of going viral the videos and um said oh you know i'm in charge of this i'm the you know i'm the attorney for the prosecutor for uh, St. Louis, so I might as well go after these people, and make a name for myself. Either way, good or bad, I'm going to have people on my side, you know, no matter what, because that's how politics operate. That's how politics are. Everything that's like this, there's always there's always someone on the other side. The law itself, what happened? Yeah, look at everything, right? If there's video, especially, you've got to be really careful and really diligent about if you're going to prosecute or if you're not. You know what I mean? And what charges exactly you're going to bring? Like I haven't seen video. Speaking of that, I haven't seen video of like them entering the gate. Apparently, they broke down their gate. Apparently, they didn't. Okay. Apparently, See, it was that's what I'm it was open. There's video of it being open and undamaged, and people just walking through. Now, really? That, that doesn't make a difference because it's a private drive. And yeah, if, it doesn't. You're right. It says, if, don't come in here, private drive, no trespassing. Exactly. It does, there's a sign there. And, sure. and if those people uh, felt threatened, no classically, if they felt threatened by basically what could have easily been rioters, you know, they don't know because the quote-unquote protesters and well i guess actual protesters and rioters there's a thin line between them you yeah know? a few days ago or a few weeks ago whatever it was in the st louis same place mm-hmm. there was tons arrested and not charged for some reason but there was tons arrested for doing that protesting rioting. yeah whatever, not right? charged because of the the new um uh i guess uh i'm so tired of these ads popping up dude it's cool you can close all that stuff if you want close all of it yeah might as well it's well, the freaking local oh my gosh whatever one's okay all right sorry guys the most. that was like it's all good come on man it was like some k5 news or something like that <laughs> get out of here dude channel five yeah five on your Seems. side is what it was called so get out of here if you're channel watching five. this podcast screw you you have too many ads on your website <laughs> stay toasty <laughs> next okay so, where were we we're at we're at this uh this whole gate thing protesters oh. being different now what i want people to say not here, being charged though specifically is people well, not being charged um and not being uh, put in jail and then going out on bail um the uh st louis attorney kim gardner her policy is is uh basically be a lot more lax on low level crimes and the, lo- the local low-level crime rate has gone way up because of it because people is basically revolving to our prison Turns or out. jail system. Yeah. 
Turns yeah. out, turns out, if you don't punish people for committing burglaries, they just commit more burglaries. Oh, imagine that. Yeah. And it's uh, what I want to say here is that with people might say not all of them are rioters. You know, we're all here. We're peaceful protesting. But you're standing right next to a rioter. Mm-hmm. That's guilty by association. Associate. I can't even talk. I'm trying to make yeah. a point. And I can't even freaking say like words. And so, the thing is, like, don't listen to me. In this, <laughs> honestly, in this day and age, you don't really need to be out in the street, do you? Is there a need for it? No, there's, there's not, not because you social can, media has such a presence absolutely. that you can be a protester on social media and cancel Jenna Marbles. There you go. So what's you so, can literally get rid of celebrities that have a ton of pool. By social media. So people that are going out into the street really just have no no real means of changing things. And on that topic, Kanye West just did his crazy big whatever it was event. And uh, yeah, I don't know what, what you call that. He was uh, It was a rally it was a, almost. It was yeah. a rally. But he talked about um, how high up business people are who we need to be talk, like thinking about. It's not the actor or the artist. It's... Whoever runs Spotify or whoever runs the label people, the label companies and stuff like that, hmm. not just label companies, but all companies in general, right? He was basically trying to make a point to the people about how capitalism works and how CEOs work. And uh, you can hit them on social media. Mm. You wouldn't be able yeah. to in the streets. Exactly. You can't. D- Kim Gardner's not in the streets. No. The attorney general's not in the streets. And, and they were going to, you know? they were going to uh, somebody's house. They're going to... Uh, who, whose house was were they actually headed Port, to? Was it? Oh, I don't know. They were, but they were in Portland something, Portland, on Portland Street or something like that. Hmm. But anyway, they're going to their personal residence, and they did it to. They didn't tell the politicians. They did it to Mitch McConnell. Yeah. Uh, they went to his house and stood out in front of his house and protested. And I think yeah. that's. I think that's pretty absurd and dangerous. It might be. Yes. Um. I would say this. If you, let's pretend it's in, in our neighborhood right here. They're on the street right there, and mm-hmm. they're facing this house, and they're like, you know, protesting and doing their thing, right? And I'd right. be like, this is weird. But I'd be looking out my window, right? And I'd be seeing. And if someone decides to step out of line or do something different mm-hmm. or something that I might be like, oh, that's different, that's sketchy, I'm afraid, then yeah. I'm about to walk out that door with my freaking AR. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Because it's. America, and we it's, have especially it's second Texas and it's first Amendment, Missouri. Yeah. Like, what the heck do you and think I, is? Going and to I'm happen? all about and I see, and I'm all about protecting the First Amendment. Trust me, I love it. I mm-hmm. agree with it. I think that um, there's a few amendments that are in jeopardy of being gone, and that might be one of them. Um, eventually, but that specific amendment it's eroding for sure. Also, there's caveats to that. You there's a there's a balance we have to obtain or keep. Mm-hmm. Sustain that uh, means that those same protesters speaking their mind and free of and having free speech can't just infringe on your rights, right? Other and, rights. And at what point does it become not peaceful assembly? If it's yeah. not a peaceful assembly, and it's peaceful, therefore um, afraid, uh, not threatening, protected. All of these things are subjective, in my opinion. But they are defined in federal statutes. They are defined, and I'm not sure is threatening defined. Like whenever they say, you know, uh, it says you can't wave your gun in a threatening manner. Like is it's, that defined? It's probably defined you know I mean? in, in legal precedent Maybe. and not statute. Because on, on that same case that Kim Gardner is stating is hers, right? Mm-hmm. They were waving their guns in threatening manners, and that's a, gets against the law. And we can't have that in St. Louis, right? Yeah. On that same token, it's literally on like uh, – let me see where that's at. I it had a, a. It was a private drive, and they were protecting private drive. Their were, residence, yeah, Castle they, Doctrine. If you want to bring that up, well, they, the Castle Doctrine does apply, but only if they actually stepped onto their property and started to, um, damage their physical property. Does which, it? Uh, is it not like if you feel threatened in your home? You know what I mean. If you are in your home or in your in Texas, at least in your vehicle. And in Missouri, it's the same. It's your yeah. property. It doesn't Missouri, even say vehicle or house. It says property. Yeah, Missouri's, property. yeah, Missouri's gun laws are way more lax than even Texas. Right. They're some of the most lax in the country. They I'm might gonna, be. I'm going to go over some of the Missouri gun laws. Well, while you find that, because this, this state's defense of, you know, defending your own thing or whatever, and it's like um, you're justified if, literally just says you're justified if you feel threatened for your life. 
It's yep. like, okay. Exactly. It's pretty vague, and, and they, I think the Missouri lawmakers did that on purpose. Um, right. Yeah, yeah. What is that? So I mean, some people might feel threatened or something like that. There's some of the most lax gun laws in the in the union. Uh, no permit required for rifles or handguns. Okay. No registration. Well, what does that actually mean? Like, you don't have to register your gun? Is that what that is? There's no, no permit, no handgun permit. Oh, okay. Yeah, in some states you have to have a permit for a handgun or a rifle. Just to have one, right? Just to have one. Right. No permit required. No registration. So no state registration. Wow, okay. Uh, no license. Now compare that to Texas. You, you have to... Uh, I don't know exactly for Texas. Uh, for handguns, you got to have a permit. Um, and I do believe for handguns, you have to register it. You have to register it? Mm-hmm. Uh, so no, no, no permit, no registration, no license, no permit required for concealed carry. You can concealed carry in Missouri with no permit. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, oh, wow. Anybody can that's, have a gun. Yeah, that's insane, dude. That, okay. With okay. no qualifications, period. Yeah, we're not talking about, yeah, that's insane. Um, I don't know if so I, that's, I don't know if I can say that's right or wrong. Who, uh, it's, that's why we live in Texas. I like Texas. I like Texas gun laws a little bit better than that, honestly, and I'm a, I'm a pretty staunch conservative, so... <laughs> um, no permit required for open carry. Uh, either what you can carry a revolver on your hip like the old west. And no, I mean I know you totally can do that. Can't you do that? No, you can't do that in Texas anymore, can you? You, you can just open carry you can, with your concealed. You can open. License. Yeah, I think so. Right. Yeah. Um. So the local the local governments can restrict, um, except in cases of self defense. There's pretty much no restrictions when it comes to self defense. Uh, there's no assault weapons laws. Uh, there's no magazine restrictions. Okay. There are federal magazine now, restrictions now. On that note, do you think there should be anyway? Um. Would that really change? Magazine? Much, yeah, right? it doesn't. No. It doesn't. Have that you seen how fast people can reload? Yeah, I mean, like two seconds. Like California, or a problem. I think it's Click. California. Five Boom. five round magazine or ten round magazine, something like that for any. It's a stupid stupid law. How, doesn't how do anything. You, yeah. Um, no background checks for private sales. Whoa. Wow. Go and do a gun show, buy a gun, no well, background Texas check. Texas is the same way there, right? Nope, you got to have a background check, I'm pretty sure. for. Really? Well, for private sales, maybe not like, a I'm background check. I'm imagining a gun, a gun show in Texas, and I'm pretty sure I've been there and witnessed gun sales happening willy-nilly, you know? Yeah, I think it's... Right? I mean, yeah. what is that? I've never... <laughs> so, so, wow, I can't, I can't talk on this topic. <laughs> I can't speak to this topic. So it's it's about it's like I may uh, or may not Washington. buy all my guns from people. <laughs> Just I mean, private selling. I, I mean, buy all mine have been gifted to me. Oh right, gifted. Yeah, that's it. Gifted. Uh, <laughs> and then there's no there's no age limit for open carry. No age limit whatsoever. What the heck? For open carry. No permit. No license. Nothing. Open carry. All you want as long as it's the. Uh, you know, not a school or a gun-free zone. But waving your gun around in a threatening manual will get you in jail. Yeah. You know? It'll get so you freaking meanwhile, prosecuted. So, meanwhile, knowing all of that about Missouri and knowing that I don't... I mean, I don't know St. Louis's specific statutes regarding St. Louis itself. Um, but uh, to me, they're not being threatening. I'd be like... I feel like they're being threatened. I think she's being threatening because she has her finger on the trigger if you look at the picture she has her finger on the oh, trigger and dude. she's pointing it yeah. straight at she, people but look at how she's pointing it's so funny she, she looks so dumb know how to handle look at weapon. this like little like she has her like elbow bent and she's like you guys get off my lawn it was hilarious and me meanwhile his fingers off the trigger in every yeah, picture he's like and he's doing pointing, right and like, he's just like, he's like stay over there guys get the heck out right like, yeah because then he could have brought it up or whatever but like also um they're personal injury lawyers, that's what they are. Mm-hmm. So they they knew what they were doing the whole time. I don't think they would just not abide by the law just because yep. willy nilly. Or you could have the same argument saying they know how to defend themselves, maybe, but they have their own lawyer. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Uh, besides all that, apparently that gun she had was not able to shoot when they got it. So right. when they confiscated it for evidence, it didn't shoot. Finding out now from some news sources, Mercury News and uh, uh, and uh, was it Channel one. Five? Was it? Was it, it wasn't that five? one. <laughs> it may have been. I don't know. Freaking five on your side. Never mind. Get out of Forget here. them. But yeah, no. It, they said that they 
reassembled it in the crime lab and got it to shoot and then said both of these weapons were lethal and able so now they can charge them right because really if the weapon was not lethal then it doesn't matter at the time of because use. it says thre- waving around a lethal weapon in a threatening manner it doesn't necessarily just say uh. guns and so a lethal weapon would be something that can shoot projectiles according to the law or some other form you know yeah baseball bat i guess yeah so that would know? be like literally swinging a baseball bat at someone right exactly so I and that would just up, uh, be like tampering almost wouldn't it i mean like yeah that's that's i feel like that's that could be evidence tampering but it could also just be i mean a judge may may deem that unadmissible or he may allow it he or she may allow yeah it. yeah you know, it's it's, it's, this happened a while ago, right? And like mm-hmm. we're still waiting on about a month ago, and we're still waiting on somebody to say something about are they going to trial or what's going on? They were charged. They're formally indicted. Oh, yeah. So they are. So they will go to trial. They're, I'm sure they're talking with lawyers and seeing exactly what they're going to do. If I was the McCloskeys, I would uh, go to trial. And if they get convicted, it doesn't matter because the governor already said he's going to pardon them, which I believe right. he would do. Um, they're under intense pressure from the attorney general of the state to um, dismiss the case. Yeah, and he said he further. would get in the case. Yeah, he would be involved in it. Yeah, yeah. and th- what I don't, what's going to happen? Here's what I see happening: we go through this trial, and let's just pretend they go to jail or they get charged actually, and they're guilty. Okay, mm-hmm. fine. Right after that, right after that day in court, we're not going to hear another word about it. And what's going to happen? Mm-hmm. The attorney general is just going to pardon him. He's like, "Cool, you're out. Peace out." You know, sorry for all the trouble because obviously it's not his fault. Yeah, and that'll be it. Now the problem is no one will hear about it. McCloskey's and will sue everyone. Oh, I would, if I was them, heck yeah, they're they're going to sue no matter what. Civil rights freaking investigation on. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, Kim Gardner, but Kim Gardner, meanwhile, won. She won, right? Because mm-hmm. she got her She's way getting all the publicity. in court, yeah. and she got her viral publicity, and now whoever agreed with her agrees with her more. Yeah. And she just gets the publicity. She just, she just gets the publicity, and that's, that's just and an that's ultimate win. That's the political win. part of it. Yeah. That is uh, insane. Mm-hmm. You know, Trump even was like, this is an extreme abuse of the second amendment or something like that extreme abuse of power or some crap mm-hmm. I don't know. it is for sure and uh yeah so M- missouri misdemeanor assault is a person's purposefully a person a person purposely plans another person in apprehension of immediate physical injury so if a person, if a person, sorry, I can't speak. I can't speak and read at the same time. Um, <laughs> You're good, dude. If a person purposefully uh, displays um, like malice towards another person, uh, in apprehension of immediate physical injury, is what the law states. Um, that's misdemeanor assault. So, according to that video, just that picture right there of a guy doing this to the McCloskeys. Right there was his crime. Yeah, right. He's that's like, mis- boom, that's, boom. that's literally misdemeanor assault. Well, then you hear supposedly, really? Mm-hmm. And then you hear supposedly, you know, Jan- Janice or whatever her name is, was saying uh, that they were saying, you know, I'm going to live in that room. We're going to mm-hmm. freaking come in and live in your house while you guys watch it. Yeah, that's you absolutely. Know? I was like, threat- what the That's heck? absolutely threatening. If that was what they were saying, if assault. that is true, then I would be like, oh, is that what you're going to do? You know, pfft. Mm-hmm. Sorry, but that's like that's protecting my property, and like if yeah. you're, it's like imagine this, imagine this. This is a good way to put it in perspective. If you treat your house and your property, and I'm not saying that a person is property, so don't get me wrong here when I start to say this, but I'm trying to compare it here. Hmm. And you have someone you love and you, you know, stand by right there, and you're gonna protect them, right? Mm-hmm. If someone was speaking to your wife, husband, kid, anything like that, the same way they were speaking to the McCloskeys, if that was happening, about their house, then you would literally be like, oh, is that what you're going to do? Punch in the face. 
or you know what, let's or fight. Click, click, or click, you know? click. You know, yeah. get out of here, or I'm shooting. If they're on your property, right? Yeah. Because that's that is literally your family. So your family would technically, in the law, be, you know, I don't know about property. Would it just be family? No, it's um, you can actually protect anybody. It doesn't even have to be. It doesn't family. even have to be. It's a it third be, person. It could there. be a stranger on the street. Third person. And if you're you're you protecting. see them getting assaulted, you can Boom. shoot the person, and it's totally legal. Done. Yeah, and that puts it in perspective because this is not against the law. It's just not. Yeah, I don't. You know, it, this is facts based. And I think they're. I think they're. I don't know who the lawyer's name is, but I think the McCloskey's lawyer said it well when he said that. Um, if you look at their face, they're not. I mean, they're not being threatening. They're they're pretty scared looking. If you if you watch the video, they look pretty worried about what's gonna what's going on. Oh, you dude, know what I mean. If you see what's happening in the nation, and then you have those same protesters in your neighborhood, literally on your front you're, lawn, you're gonna be just like the mayor of Seattle or whoever it was yeah. when they came into her neighborhood. Did a total 180. You'd be like, oh, it was like, oh, we're gonna clean up the streets this. now. Yeah, right. Like that's what's gonna happen. Unreal, right? Yeah, and it's it is. Things change when you're actually faced with it. Mm-hmm. So back to our topic about it being on the streets and not having to be. Sometimes that might actually help. <laughs> yeah. For the sake of facts. For their own cause, you know. Because you know? it made her completely 180 in Seattle, you know. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But And uh, it doesn't affect, it doesn't necessarily affect their cause, though, because their cause yeah. is Their media, cause you know? loses anyway because then they just lost support of their own democratic mayor yeah you know what i mean for sure they're going so far left that they're losing the support of the mayor of seattle yeah i know you gotta try real hard to lose to be a lefty and lose the support of the mayor of seattle you know what i mean oh no i know yeah yeah. so what are you thinking um you're burning you're burning your bridges there yeah we're gonna take a break and uh we'll come back and hit it what we want to explain next is going to be how this affects you as an individual citizen of the U.S. of A. What's up, Toasters? You already know my name, and you know what I'm about. I'm all about this podcast, man. I need you guys to subscribe. You're the real MVPs. The reason we do this, the reason I'm here, I want to spread the wealth of knowledge around the world as much as I can. That means talking to people that you may never meet. That means interacting in a way that's unbiased. That's my goal, and that's my passion. And... I hope you can share that with us and come along for the ride. So like, share, and subscribe. Let's get back to the show. What's up, guys? Back at it again with the Toasty Podcast. Toastiest one yet. Let's talk about how this affects you. Anyone and everyone that's a lawyer can now probably use this case. If it goes to trial, all right, when it goes to trial and when they're, if they're charged. If it's not dismissed before. If they're uh, found guilty or whatever, if it's not dismissed beforehand mm-hmm. and they go to jail, it doesn't well, matter if they get pardoned they or won't, not. So they have the option of under uh, Circuit Attorney Gardner's policy, they can plead guilty and then do a counseling who would you program whatever yeah, but they're still pleading guilty exactly it's still and guilty. then and then if you complete the who would you counseling program you get to <laughs> the who would you you get to get it uh you get to get it uh it says dismissed i don't it's, know if that's dismissed and then you still have the arrest on your record and you so get disbarred and your life's ruined kind of I dismissed read, i read that it was expunged or if it's expunged and fully like i don't know gone swept under the rug now the Either thing is way, though that's her policy on most uh, like non non felonies, on most misdemeanors. Yeah, like like what DWI, like burglary. Well, stuff. DWI is. Uh, I think it is a it's a felony or is it a class A misdemeanor? Probably I depends think it's on the just state. A cla- I think yeah, it definitely depends on the state. I know in Texas it's a uh, uh, class, class a. B or A. It actually can be a class B. I think. Hmm. If it's below point oh eight, I think or something like that. Yeah, it can be. Um. Anywho, uh, yeah, I think. She's going to ruin these people's thought. lives. Yeah, for that's what she's Just trying for to her do. Political she's, game. Yeah, exactly. And uh, you know what? We she's can- change. trying to cancel these people for this. Yeah, cancel yeah. these people, basically. Yeah. Basically. And it would not change. My opinion would not change if it was someone else in her shoes. Like, I just know it wouldn't. People right. might say, well, this is Republicans against Democrats. But no, nah, I don't think it is. Because if anyone's being political for a political gain mm-hmm. in a freaking trial, in a court case, in the justice system, it is not correct. That should not happen. Right. At all. 
mm-hmm. right? The justice system is the justice system because it refrains from being political. Right. Unfortunately, it almost can't these it's, days. You know, justice and is, this is the biggest news since that, right? She's portrayed as blind, you know, with a scale. Right. So it's even handed and blind. If and someone, yeah, you can't do can't that. Can't abuse it because. And she even says that defending this case. She's like, as a circuit attorney, we have to stay away from politics and we have to be unbiased and objective. Stay and away I'm from like, politics if she says stuff like that. What the heck, man? Unreal. Yes. It's unreal how much they contradict themselves. And I don't even like abide. I'm not even saying I'm one way or the other, like left or right or whatever. I never do. That's just how I am. This is ridiculous. Seeing this and seeing the controversy is insane. Mm-hmm. It's all convoluted, man. And politics ruin everything, you know? Yeah. I, we need them for some things, but oh my gosh, you know? Um. Okay. You know, I think that's about it. We made it short today. I'd say. Short but compact. Yeah, exactly. Covered a lot of ground. Every episode is the toastiest one yet, so this is the toastiest one yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love what we talk about. It's amazing. If you guys uh, like my Matt's hair, just uh, give us a shout out. Yeah, how, uh, what do you think of the new do? He uh, In the eyes of four. Yeah, locks of love. Locks of love, man. It's good That's stuff. how it goes. Anyway, so we are cool people. We do donate stuff. We're not all jerks out here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Every two years, I'll donate 10 inches of hair. Cool. Cool. I there get to be is, a jerk dude. for the meantime. Boom. Cool. Can't be canceled now. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah. As always, listen, subscribe, like the content, share us on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram. Parlor? I don't use that. Maybe I should get into I it. I use Parlor. So what? It's pretty cool. Yeah. Follow me on Parlor. Check out the merch. Check out the merch. Uh, bonfire.com yeah. forward slash the toasty podcast the toasty and patreon forward slash sky day that's it fellas stay toasty cool stay toasty guys toasty